Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and another Android TV box. And on this particular video, I'm going to share with you my review of the Yugo's AM1, uh, which is right over here. And actually, this is the first time that I'm testing and reviewing a machine from Yugo's, uh, which is the AM1 on this particular case. But I've got two machines right over here, uh, the UT4 as well, which I will try to share my review in a couple of weeks or so. Uh, this has the Rockship 3368, which I'm not really a fan, but we we will see how it works. Now the first spoiler alert on this particular video is the uh, build quality of these machines. They are made of metal. It looks like uh, plastic but it's not. It is a full metal enclosure with the exception of the, the, the front and I'm going to talk about the AM1 only on this video so let's forget about the UT4. Um, full metal with a rubber uh, coating and then the only plastic part it is the front which we can take and I did not show this on the review so here it is uh, but this is the first spoiler alert the build quality surprised me and the other spoiler alert is that this is a solid machine uh, with the AM Logic S905 SOC now if you are looking for a machine then you can put this on your list on my opinion of course uh, and you will be able to see on the test that I perform for my needs this is a great machine that being said guys let's go straight for the video hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are with the Yugo's AM1 that features the AM Logic S905 SOC, 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 16GB of flash storage with Android Lollipop 5.1.1. And regarding our usual and quick unboxing experience, once we open the package we will find the Yugo's AM1 on the top, a power adapter, a flat HDMI cable, USB to USB cable, infrared remote control, external antenna with an SMA connection and the usual documentation. And in terms of build quality, the AM1 is really well built. At first it looks like it's plastic, but the enclosure is all made of a strong metal, with a rubberized coating that feels really nice. And taking a closer look at the front, it has nothing, not even the lights. On the left hand side, two USB 2.0 ports and a full sized SD card slot. On the right hand side, the external antenna. At the back, a power input jack, optical out, gigabit Ethernet connection, HDMI and a USB 2.0 port, at the top the logo that we can barely see on the image and finally at the bottom 4 rubber feet and the air vents. And the remote control, it's an infrared remote control, so my suggestion, as always, goes towards a wireless remote control. And for that, just uh, check out the uh, video comparison that I made a few months ago regarding wireless remotes. And turning the machine on reveals the Yugo's launcher, uh, which is refreshing, at least here on the channel, as it's the first time that we see it. But of course, we can use any other launcher of our choice. Now, the AM1 comes with online updates, but at this moment it's running the latest version available and it comes with a simple but really nice tool uh, to get the machine rooted and moving to our usual benchmarks on Wi-Fi we got 40 megabits on download and 20 on upload and on the internet connection 100 megabits per second of download speed and 20 on upload speed disk speed test with 66 megabytes on reads and 34 on writes Geekbench 3 with 600 on single core score and 1732 on multi-core score Score and to do with roughly 35,000. 3D Mark score Ice Storm Extreme with 4,152, and finally on Epic Citadel with 45.1 frames per second on average score. Now, benchmarks aside, in terms of video playback, it comes with the YouTube mobile version app, and as we can see on screen, it can play up to 1080 resolution. Netflix is also the mobile version, and it plays up to SD resolution of 480p, as you want to call it but unfortunately I cannot show any footages because of copyright issues and regarding Kodi it comes with version 16 and I could play everything I threw at it all my library is on my NAS and streamed across my network and besides
besides my MKV Blu-ray movies, I could also play Big Bug Bunny Tears of Steel and Sintel 8-bit up to 4K resolution with H.264 and H.265 codecs and also the 10-bit 4K samples, Iceland and dive into the new world without any issues at all. So a great overall experience on video playback. And in terms of gaming, with no surprises, I was able to play light games such as Responables and also heavier games uh, such as Asphalt 8 Airborne with some really nice results. And also game streaming games from our computer to the AM1 at 1080 resolution with 60 frames per second with no lag as we can see on screen uh, at this moment with Gaz Guzzlers which is one crazy game. And finally, using my favorite app, Airbnb Pro, I was able to mirror and stream from my iPhone SE and also from our Mac that contains all our photo library and play the usual live slideshows such as magazine style, sliding panels and vintage prints and once again here the AM1 had a great performance capable of playing everything just perfectly. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the build quality of the AM1 which is made of metal metal but with a rubber coating that feels really nice. It has online updates, easy option to root the machine, a smooth video playback and finally it's capable of game streaming at 1080 with 60 frames per second. On the other hand, things that I did like the least on the AM1, so far I haven't found anything that I didn't like on this machine. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the Yugo's AM1 Android TV box. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.